didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't because you didn't like it. No, you. Oh, yeah? No. No, you didn't. You gave it to me. I thought you were talking about the blood test. This is how it does what a woman do now. That's on purry. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl Royalty and your girl Candy, and, and welcome, welcome back to Royalties and Candyland. Candyland. So, today, today, we are just giving y'all the journey of what we have been going through. <laughs> um, I mean, we should really start. Mm -mm. We should start with the past two weeks. We should. You want to start with the apartment situation, child? <sighs> so. The real reason why we moved is because the leasing office would not renew our lease. Now, why? <laughs> it beats us. But um, in the, what was it? On the portal? Yeah, on the portal where you can renew it, it says down at the bottom that they can deny it if yes. they want to. So it's totally up to them. So a long, <clears throat> a long time ago, when I had an apartment in Charlotte, I was at that apartment for like five, six years or some shit. And one day, they changed management, and the lady said, uh, basically, you have to find somewhere else to stay. And I was like, what the fuck you mean, All right? She was like, um, we have to renovate this apartment, and there are no other apartments available. This was another situation where I had two weeks to get out. That's crazy. So I kept telling her, you need to see what they're talking about with renewing this lease because they could potentially not renew the lease. She kept saying they're going to renew it, they're going to renew it. Yeah, because what they told me is everything is done online. And so Just because everything is done online don't mean they're going to renew it. And I knew that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we was in an area where it was more this than this. So, it was one of those situations that, like, we put in the renewal. This is two weeks mm -hmm. before we, the lease is up. We put in the renewal for it and no response for a week. Right. And at the bottom, it did say you could potentially be denied. Mm -hmm. So I called the lease and I was like, yeah, what's going on? We just trying to see, you know what I'm saying? If y'all will renew the lease or not, you know what I'm saying? We've had times when we have paid the rent up three months. And you know, we had times when we might've been late a couple times. But my thing mm -hmm. is they both was the same if you ask me. Cause it don't matter, it still got paid. Facts. <laughs> Whenever we said that we was going to pay it, it got paid on that day. And if it wasn't paid on that day, we communicated that. So communication was always given from day one. Mind y'all. But we went through, um, they went under new management through that, that too. too. So the management that we were working with were no, was no longer there. You right. So that's you why, you know what I'm saying? That's why our communication with them wasn't, you know, as great. It was nothing because, because the lady said... Yeah, we're going to call you uh, tomorrow and give you the paperwork for the renewal and never, ever, okay, um, called. Called. So, TT had to go up there a couple times. Nothing. It was just nothing. So, we got two weeks to find an apartment. We wanted a house, remember? Yep. <clears throat> so, with the house, they, we was... Speaking to a realtor, we just looking to rent right now. We, uh, you know, we have to work on our credit. You have to work on your credit before you move. You have to yep. save up a certain amount of money, all yep. of that. So we wasn't prepared for that yet. At so all. let's get this together, you know, and give us a year to do so. So in the meantime, let's rent. Okay. Right. So the realtor, he just kind of was in and out on certain information that I did not like. Mm -hmm. So one day he was like, um, something that we liked that was actually around the corner from the house. We was like, uh, you know, we want this one. He said, okay. He told me the application fee and shit, but told me that they had 26 backup applications on that uh, house. And I was 
like, what the hell does that mean? He said, basically, the person that owns the house is taking applications, but they already know who they're going to move in. Awful. So after he said that, he also said that if you're, if you're, so for you to rent a house out here, your credit has to be at a 600. Mind you, we're 10, 20 points away, away from, from 600. <laughs> but anyway, if it's not That's a 600, me. <laughs> if it's not a 600, they could charge us three to four times the rent. So we could potentially have to move in for $10,000, $15,000. Well, the house ain't even worth that at all. At all. So rent out here, <clears throat> I don't know why there's not too many people talking about it, but rent out here. It's high as fuck. It's beyond, like, beyond me, bro. It's high as fuck. And, you know, some people, you know, people judge... Just because you come out and tell your truth, I don't give a damn because I love being transparent. Is, I'm transparent is. because I like to know what other people are going through. Right. But also, we help people throughout our process of growing. You know, so we are never ashamed to grow. So if, <clears throat> if you talk a shit, I'm half at it. Um, We're real. Yeah, We're we don't. Real I, we don't give a damn. <laughs> um, the thing is, what well, a what we've learned from this because like. We've been working on um, consistency all year with keeping mm -hmm. things in order and getting things together. Because not yes. only are we dealing with ourselves, okay. we're dealing with two kids, too. And yep. two older kids. So we can't even put all the focus on us because we have to put everything into them mm -hmm. just to keep them afloat. Mind you, it's a third parent okay. that ain't here that we have to uh, keep everything in line with as well. So it's a lot of focus that went into those children this year. And that was the goal. Period. To get the focus on the kids, get them all the way together. So in order for us to do that, we had to put ourselves on the back burner. As you can see, we ain't been getting our damn hair done. Ain't nobody mm -hmm. bought no clothes. Mm -hmm. We ain't bought nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with it. It was worth it. Uh, we're going to have to call Toot on your phone. Toot, give me five minutes. <laughs> so um, she might yeah. be at the store long. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah, so we have done absolutely nothing for ourselves. So, after we found out we needed to move out in two weeks, we had to start filing, uh, I mean, putting in applications and shit. Mm -hmm. So, finding, finding apartments and, and putting in applications. All the while, I was working a nine to five. I had just started working a nine to five in the midst of that in the morning. So I was there from, what was it? Eight, eight to, five. to five. Not nine. Dead. So it was eight to five. Dead in the middle of business hours. Y'all. <laughs> so it's doing what it can do, but I, our life has already been set up for us to be at home mm -hmm. and that's a huge problem and a lot of people don't understand because you got to juggle between YouTube and a job and it's not as easy as everybody think it is mm -hmm. but to be honest I'm so glad that um, before we get into that uh, so we had to start putting out applications all applications have gone up from 75 to $200. Somebody told us $250 for an application. Yep. <clears throat> and you have to pay an admin fee. Mm -hmm. If you don't get approved, they keep the fee, bitch. Mm -hmm. They keep the fee and the application fee. So mm -hmm. guess what? About three, $400 of your money. Gone. You, yeah, you don't get if, approved. If you, you don't, don't get, get approved, you, you, it's gone. So, yeah. So we went around to a lot of apartment complexes. Nobody had three bedrooms. Nope. They was all gone. And if so, they were coming like past the time that we had to be gone because we had to be gone to, like before August 4th. Yep. Yeah, before August 4th. So we needed something real quick. We couldn't have anything past that. And if it was past that, we was like, we we're still trying to figure out if we could manage to be somewhere you know, for a week or so to right. just wait. But we was like, no, we can't. No, we couldn't do that. All, all because the kids started school August, August 1st. 1st. 
Okay. So we could and I had to that. get them in school because they weren't in a school district because all the while we was trying to figure out what area we was trying to be in while trying to figure out if we was going to get a house and or, and or get an apartment. And then we was forced to get an apartment. So now, here y'all go. You see what I'm saying? Like, well, this shit crazy. This ain't it. This, this is, is a fourth. But we just go. I've been wanting to talk about yeah. this. Yeah. So keep going. Uh, okay. So what else happened after that? So after we got the kids, um, and no, 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 no. We ain't we had to get, We had to get the apartment. We get the apartment. We had to get the apartment. So after we found the actual apartment, because we found an apartment that did free. Was it a free something? It was free. Uh, mm. No. Well, they gave us five hundred dollars off on the rent. Yes. Right. Yeah. But. It was like um, this yeah. apartment now has like a sunroom, so we was looking for like a three bedroom. That so, so it kind of gave us what we wanted, so we went with, with what we had, yeah. and <laughs> it was the the um, cheapest of, of them all here in Atlanta. I feel by because, the way, you know what I'm saying because <laughs> oh my god. Also, people would say like, why wouldn't you let the girls share a room? If no, you put two teenagers in one room. I don't know how y'all household work. That don't work. Okay. No, I mean because they're going off of what used to work. See, back in the day, yes, we used to share rooms. See, that's what y'all going off of. Oh yeah, we used to be in a room. Back yes, in the day, we, we could didn't have phones. You know what I'm saying? Back exactly. in the day, we could take our ass outside. Exactly. By the time we come in the house, girl, we we tired. We going to we sleep. Going to sleep. We talking, well, I know me and my brothers and my sisters. We was, was talking, we was too, talking we shit, sleep. and then we we got our ass cussed out, and yep. we went to sleep. Yep, that too. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, then so, we had to go to sleep, wake up in the morning, go outside, do it all over again. No. Go to my house, somebody laying on the couch, somebody laying on the uh, mm -hmm. floor, hell, we slept wherever. So Times is not like that. Times is not the same. Children need space, mm -hmm. and it's something like, I'm... Well, we're very focused on their mental health. Men their mental health is so important to me because had I known about mental health when I was a child, like I, I would have said something a long time. A ago. lot of us, I feel like went through it mentally for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. You know, um, back in the days, it was what I say go. You know, and nowadays we want to hear what the damn kids want to Exactly. The you? Exactly. Kids, kids show more today how they feel. They don't say it. But they'll show it. They'll show it. You and know. you you have to ask them. And it's it's more so like um, back in the day, we weren't so open to doing that because our parents were They want to hear that shit. Shut your ass up. Okay, you don't do what the fuck I said. But now our, grand, <laughs> uh, now our grandparents, our parents that are grandparents want to hear what the kids got to say to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My mom had the nerve to tell me the other day, well, that's just the way she is. <laughs> <laughs> what about how I was? What about me? That just being the way I am. You know what I'm That's saying? That's just the way she is. So, <laughs> a lot has changed. So, we are just going with the changes, mm -hmm. you know? And I see as a parent, like, you ain't got no... What happened? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. And you just take care of it. Now... They don't just get anything they want. We the parents. I don't I don't ain't no the child no, the parent, none no. of that shit. We will forever be no. the parents. But these kids not disrespectful. They mind their motherfucking business. They ask what they want. They very polite. And they don't get in trouble. So, uh, the least yeah. that they wanted was their own room. I think we can make that happen. Yeah. So that's what we did. Mm hmm So they had their they had to share a room all their life, they said. But now since they are separate, y'all should be happy to know that they miss each other. So now they yeah. knocking on each other's door. Right. But they still night, but they, they still their own room. go in their own room. They do. <laughs> and they be chilling. Yeah. So but they still be knocking on one another's doors. It's just you have to give them space and time to grow up and grow, yes. you know what I'm saying? And and figure out who they are separately. And you can't do that with somebody right there. Okay. Like, like that's the girl. worst shit in the world for somebody to just be right there. All right. The I can't even talk to my home girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look. And this dog gonna lotion on her hands, honey. Uh, <laughs> will touch a wall. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that that is... um. Yeah. We had to get them, you know, their own room. So we went with the two bedroom sunroom, which was the cheapest. Mm -hmm. And when I say the cheapest, the cheapest on the market, okay, I'm gonna give you an example. <laughs> two bedroom, 
bedroom was out here. <laughs> the highest that we looked at was twenty six hundred dollars. Mm -mm, that's with a, well, that's what we looked at. What I saw online, baby. Y'all, it was thirty three. Oh no, it was thirty three. Mind you, the apartment we just left, they're about to put it on the market for twenty four hundred. Okay, like y'all. Yeah. So we was gonna have to pay twenty two there anyway for the same apartment. <laughs> So, like, oh my God, it's just a lot of shit. So we had to deal with that. We took the apartment that we have, which was a great decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and leasing office wise, a great decision. Yes. Community wise, Love a great them. decision. The kids wanted to go to this certain school. You got to stay on this side now because the kids are in school. Mm -hmm. So this is a good area that we're in. And um, so then we had to pay for movers. Yep, we had to pay for movers. Last minute movers. Child. Between boxes, the movers, and just all of that cost probably a thousand dollars just to take care of all that. Mind you, all of this is last the fuck minute. minute. Everything. Two Literally. Weeks. And like in and, and, and two days we had to get all that together. The, yes. the movers. Um so she had to stop the, working. Yep, I had to stop working. How I'ma move a whole apartment by myself yep. and box up a whole it ain't no way. No. It's no way. So and for some people they can. Me, I can't. How I'ma do that and work at the same time? Somebody gotta make the money. So it's a huge sacrifice when you have a career or you have something that you do, because people don't understand, like, why won't you just do this like <laughs> it's not that easy it's so much what the saying is it's easier said than done real because shit. for it's real for real because you can say that shit so quick to you blue. And, okay and so your ass is out there and you are doing it because baby i guarantee you it's not it's not easy at it's, all it's not it's hard to maneuver up in this in this world and especially, especially with older children <laughs> okay you got a little two three year old bet they gonna go where okay you go. they ain't got no choice no you got Nah, nigga, that's just not how it works. So, mm -hmm. after that, after we got the movers, oh, in the midst of the movers, we didn't lost cups, plates, um, boxes in the fail, child. Um, when I tell you, they was the most ghettoest, <laughs> um, coolest, Ghetto rudest, cool, rude, um, in your business, in your face. Can't uh, every time the nigga brought in something. <laughs> Shut your ass up and get this shit done. God damn. Y'all, Toop was in the way the whole time Toop in the beginning. In the so they, she had aggravated <laughs> them so that they probably were just getting us back because you had your, your damn friend in the way. In she the was, way. She was but they got for two because if she wasn't there, we would have okay. a lot of that shit done. Child. Oh. Child. Because my logic on moving, ain't, it ain't logical. No, baby. I can do a lot not. of things. But she, moving? No. Tell moving me is not. She needs to absolutely sit down that day. Period. I mean, unless she has things to pack. You just need to be in your area that day. <laughs> for well, real. Like, I said something. So, baby yet. was like. Uh-uh. She was he, girl. That's because of how she said it. That shit pissed me but off. But it was true. Like, baby, just she always look like a deer in headlights when it comes to certain shit, especially YouTube and shit. Right. Because this is my lane. That's so her moving shit. is your lane. Mm -hmm. I can't I do can it. Pack. Oh, it looks, I hate it though. To me, it looks like <laughs> shit everywhere. Shit everywhere. Shit everywhere. It and looks like, like that to me though. I can't. Uh, but my mind, no. Nah. It I looks like, like that it. to me though. It sends me into a, a frantic place. I, I have don't a choice. Like it. I ain't got no choice. You know how like you got a lot of shit to do and instead of doing that shit, you go to sleep? That's me and moving. I, 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 you look at that shit and be like, man, I'm gonna go to sleep for this shit. And don't get nothing done. Oh and that would be me. God. I don't want to intentionally do that, but I, I can't think. So whatever. It, it's okay. Mind you, it's okay. We had to change the Wi-Fi. Yep, change the we Wi-Fi. We had to change the lights. Change the light. Because uh fucking we moving it to another county. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just need less to say, y'all. Oh, child, we had to it get gas. So we had to add another bill. <laughs> right. <laughs> we had to get gas. Thank so, God water is included in our rent because, okay. baby, that would have been another one. Ain't nobody got time. Everything just 
costs a lot. It does. Of money. And it's just not, it's not simple. It, saying this to people and hearing them say, well, why won't you just do this? Woo! Like, you think I could just pick up my whole entire family and move them where? And how easy is that? Because then, as you can see, I had to, I, we had to pay what? Movers. We had to pack. Okay, so now we got to pack and move them. So depending on where we move into, if that's out of state, y'all, that is just not. Not only that, you got to put the kids in easy. a whole new school system. Okay, and it's out just, of state. It's just not that simple. Y'all, with the school system. But, but I'll tell you what, nobody will know until they get some damn uh, teenagers. And have to put their ass in school. Or oh, said they've been some um um some mothers mothering. When you be mothering out here, <laughs> for real. When you be mothering out here, man, the shit is just it's it's, it's a lot. It's a but lot. But I feel like it's still different with little babies. Yeah, you it's can't easy. mother with little babies. It's but. easier because you can when you're mothering with little babies. When I was mothering with my little babies, I could just throw their asses on the hip and keep the fuck going. They'd be on my back and keep the fuck going. I ain't got to worry about, no, don't go over there. No, don't go over here. Sit down right there. Do you got your phone? Do you, <laughs> girl, no. Which is leading up to our next subject. London missed the bus. Okay. London missed the bus. Not missed the bus. She got off on the wrong stop. That's Not what it was. Once. <clears throat> she got off on the wrong stop. Okay, yes, it Not was once. once. Twice. No, she got off on the wrong stop once, but she didn't get off on her stop the second time. So we're going to give y'all that story time <laughs> the next video, but y'all let us know what y'all think. We've been going through it, so we just about to okay. give y'all story time for what the fuck we going through. This mothering over here, it's a lot. It's a lot. But yeah, y'all let us know what you think down in the comment section. Yeah, below, we love you guys. Y'all appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, since we going through all this shit, we want y'all to know, you know, I'm doing Zoom classes for y'all to learn how to do YouTube. Of course, it okay. costs. But also, here go the cash app on the screen. In real life, we really going through shit. If you want to pitch in, feel free. If you don't, God bless you. All right. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Love y'all. Appreciate y'all.